Peninsula Animal Aid is a non-for-profit shelter established in 1971 that takes in abandoned and surrendered animals that have been subject to cruel living conditions and abuse. The shelter is operated and run by a team of dedicated unpaid volunteers to ensure each and every animal is given a new home and a loving family. We talked to several of these volunteers to find out a little bit more about adopting and about some of their and the animal stories. Today, volunteer Bryony will talk to us a little bit about Zoo. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Well, his name is Zoot. He is four years old. He came when he was about eight months. They actually took him from his previous owners because they found him tied up and really skinny. And they had a muzzle on his face because of barking. They thought that would stop it as well. But since he's been here, he still doesn't get along with dogs. But he does no obedience. Like, he can sit, he can stay, he can lay down. I'm trying to get the shake. He's not quite getting it yet, though. <laughs> but he's the sweetest thing. Um, but yeah, he has a nice home here, but obviously we do want to still find him a home. Somewhere that has a nice backyard. He likes to play and run around. He does get, he will be nice with kids, but yeah, he does get very playful though. <laughs> but he does calm down. Obviously you can see he's pretty calm right now. He's not holding on to him at all. But yeah. Good boy. He also knows kisses. Lyndall and other volunteers sit down to tell us a bit more about adopting. What do you think is important for people to consider when adopting? Definitely their living situation. Um, if you're renting and you think you're going to move um, and into somewhere where you can't have an animal, that's a lot of the time when we get animals back. We get the excuse that people are moving um, or people are going on an overseas trip. Um, so they bring their pets down. So. Um, it is a long-term commitment. Cats and dogs average around 15 years. So if you don't think that you can provide a stable home, of course you can go on holidays and things like that, but if you can't provide some stable love and care, um, don't consider it. Come and volunteer instead. How can we find out more information about adopting? Probably the best way is to head to our website. Um, you can see all the available cats and dogs as well as everything that you receive when you do get one of our cats or dogs. Um, you can contact us through the website and we try to keep our Facebook page pretty active with what's going on day to day, animals coming in and out. There are many ways that we can help shelters apart from just adopting. Becoming a member and volunteering and sponsoring dogs and cats is just a great way to help and get involved. What are some of the advantages of adopting cats like Peter rather than a pet? It's definitely cheaper for a start. Um, for a cat or a kitten, it's $125 to adopt through us. The up to date with vet checks, they're microchipped, they're de-sexed um, and they're vaccinated. So if you were to get a giveaway cat from one of your friends or buy one from a pet shop, you'd spend over $300 just getting them up to date with all that stuff, whereas we can get them up $125. Each year dogs like Zoot are being overlooked by people who don't know about shelters like the Peninsula Animal Aid or find it easier to purchase a pet from a pet shop. Today I encourage you to not only consider the responsibilities of owning a pet but also consider getting a pet from a rescue shelter because they too deserve acceptance.